What up, it's Jeremy here. I'm gonna be showing you how to create this cool flat vector Christmas tree in Illustrator CC. <music> Using simple shapes, some simple blending modes and playing around with some nice circles to create the ornaments. And we've got this cool star here. So I'm gonna show you how to create this from scratch. It shouldn't take too long, but let's jump into it and start creating. So I went on Google and Pinterest and just found a simple picture of a pine tree just so we get the basic shape of the tree and how it looks. We're not going to focus on the detail because we're going to keep it pretty basic today. I'm just going to go over here and just duplicate this artboard real quick. And I'm just going to drag this image over here and we'll just use it as a baseline. I'm going to press Ctrl 2 to lock this tree like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a triangle. So I'll go to the left, right click on the rectangle tool. You'll get the drop down menu and I'm going to go to the star. You can also go to the polygon tool as well. So if I click that, I'm just going to click and drag and hold shift to get a triangle. If you have more sides because it's a polygon or a star, just press the down, up and down arrows to decrease the sides on the shape. So we'll decrease it and make it a triangle like this. What I'm going to do, I'll just select black for now. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the bounding box. You can see these little white squares. I'm going to hold Alt or on, if you're on a Mac, you'll be probably Option. And then I'm going to drag it in like this. And what I'm going to do until getting the basic shape and I'm just going to drag it up like this. And then once again, I'm going to bring the width in so it's not too crazy wide. Cool. So we have our top section. Now what I'm going to do is Press Ctrl C and Ctrl F to copy and paste in front, which does that. Or alternatively, you can select the shape and hold Alt and click and drag off and hold Shift at the same time. And it should duplicate it. So Alt, Shift and left click and drag and drag it down. So we're going to drag it to it has like a fair bit of space here. So we have a width so you can tell the layers of the tree. But what I'm going to do, you see how the, this is inside of, it's the same size as that. We want this to be a bit wider. And as it goes, the tree goes down, we want it to go wider and wider. So I'll select this shape, press V for the selection tool. And I'll go back to this part here. And I'm just going to go and scale it like this. So I'm bringing, making it wider, bringing it outwards. We only want to go like a little bit past the first point. Because if you go too much, then it starts clashing with this and it looks a bit funny. So we have that and then I'll replicate the same thing. So I'll duplicate it, drag it down. And you can see I'm using smart guides so it helps me snap it. You can go to view smart guides there to help you out. Once again, I'll go to the edge of the box and I'll drag this out to something reasonable. I'll do the same, drag it. You can see how the, the tip it snaps. And I'm just gonna drag this out a bit. And then one more. This one's a bit bigger than the other one. So uh, there we have it. So if I just drag this out, that's what the tree is looking like. Looks looks pretty cool. Some other parts are a bit more a bit too wide, so I can always just go back and drag them in, just so it looks more even. And I can actually bump up. I'm just bumping up some of the trees like that doesn't have to be too even as long as it visually looks symmetrical yeah that's cool I'll just bump up the bottom one a bit sweet so I'm like loving how that's looking now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the branch so you press M for the rectangle tool I'm going to hold alt and as I click and drag you can see you can change the size we want it to go not too fat but we like it nice and thin and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these shapes and I'm just going to move them to the side. And I'm just going to turn my artboards off so we can see what we're doing. So there we have it. We have our basic shapes and now we're going to manipulate it to, you know, make this cool Christmas tree effect. So for the trunk, I'm going to start to edit this. So what I, what I simply do is just use the pen tool. So press P for the pen tool. Make sure you select the rectangle shape. I'm just going to bring that down a little bit. I'll select it, press P for the pen tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Alt or Option if you're on a Mac. You're going to find the sides 
And all I'm going to do is hold that button and left click and drag. And you can see I'm dragging in the trunk or the square like that. So it creates sort of this round ellipse shape on the side. So you can see the center part as well of the shape. Try and keep it within the center. And you can also hold shift as well, which does that. But you don't have to do that. So I'm just going to hold it and drag it. Try and keep it within that line. Like this. Cool. So now we've got this cool tree effect. If it's a bit short, we can always just select these bottom parts with the direct selection tool, which is the white mouse button. And I can just drop that down like that. Now that looks super fresh. And I'm just going to duplicate it. So I select it and hold Alt and Shift just so I have a backup copy there in case I make a mistake or in case you know you want to go back and fix something up later on. So cool, we have the tree here. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the color. So I'm going to select everything by holding Shift, select all the, the tree part, and I'm going to select this green color. So I got these colors from Color Hunt. So if you go to colorhunt.co, and on the right hand side, it's got this little search bar. You can search by color. So what I like to do is go and I typed in green. And all these palettes pop up with a nice green palette. So you could even use this one. I use this one as well. See, that, that's pretty cool. It doesn't have to be like the exact same colors as in real life. It could be a bit different. It can be purple if you want. doesn't matter. But for this example, we're doing a Christmas tree. Even this is a nice color palette as well. See that? So you can go on that website and you can find a nice palette. And you can left click. If I quickly go back, you can left click on it and it will copy the hex code. And you want to drop that hex code right into the swatches panel. So you can double click on the swatch, type it in here. And then once you press OK, you'll see you'll get this nice red color, which I can use that. And I'll press this button down here to make it new. And then you can call it red and press OK. And it should add it to your swatch right here. So you can see that. So what I'm going to do for the trunk, I'm going to make it this brown color, which is nice. Just keep it really simple. Once again, I can also edit some of these shapes if it's too... I don't like how it's looking. Sweet. So I'm just going to duplicate it again, select everything, duplicate. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some shadows. So for this, what I like to do is just use the pen tool or the rectangle tool. So for the main shadow, for we're going to pretend that the sun is on the left hand side. So Let's just think this is the sun. Ooh. So that's the sun and the light is coming down and hitting it from the left side. This way. So I'm just going to control Z or that. So what I want to do to add some shadows very simply, I'm just going to use the rectangle tool. So I'll press M for the rectangle tool. My smart guides are on. I'll go to the top point of the actual pine tree. I will left click and drag until the box snaps on the bottom of the tree here, of the, the bottom um, layer. Then what I'll do, I'll select, holding, just dragging and selecting the box, orange, the orange box and the, the leaves. I'll press Shift M and then I'll hold Alt and Option and I'll left click and drag and get rid of the excess part of the shape that I don't want. So now you should have a orange part or shape that's directly on one half of the tree like this. Now, the simplest way to change it now to make a nice shadow is I'll press I for the dropper tool, select my green color on the tree, or you can go to your swatch panel and select the color you want. As you can see here, you can select these colors. I try and keep a nice contrast, so I'll, I like to select the same color. Then what I'll do, I'll go to my blending modes with the transparency panel, and then I'll select it and go multiply. And then I'll bring this down to about 40%. And so now we have a shadow that sort of makes the tree pop a bit more, makes it a bit more dimensional and 3D, even though it's like a flat illustration. Then what I'll do to add even more dimension to the layers of the tree is add another shadow, but this time I'm gonna use the pen tool. So I'll press P for the pen tool. I'll select a color so you guys can see. So I'll select orange. I'm going to click on this part here on directly on the anchor point. I'll go to the other side. I'm just holding alt and using my mouse wheel to zoom in and out there. I'll find the other side and left click on that anchor point just under the part there where it connects. I'll come over here 
and what I can do is I can put the shadow right here or I can put it here. So I'll find the corner, select that, and then I'm going to connect this shape here. And then what I'm going to do is make sure to connect the shape. So I'll go back up to this first point and select it and click and you should have a shape like this. So then once again, all I have to do is press I for the eyedropper tool, go into the shape here and select it. And because it already has multiply applied, it's going to do the same. And then what I can do, if the tree was exactly geometric, then you could just duplicate it and drag it down like this, right? But it's not. So what I'm going to do is just do the same thing. I'll left click here, left click here, left click here, left click there, press I for the eyedropper tool and select the shape. And you just do that for each layer very simply, just using the pen tool. And the shortcut for the pen tool is P. And now we have like this layered tree that looks super cool, better than this one here. So we got this. I'll also do a sim the same thing to the other the, the trunk. So press P for the pen tool. Go down to the corner here. I'll click off it. I'll click here. Click here. So we have this shape like that. I'll drag and select both of these two shapes. Shift M for the shape builder tool. Hold option, left click and cut that piece off. I drop a tool, the brown bit, go to my transparency, click multiply, drop it to 40%. And there we have a shadow for our trunk. So I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this here. And now we're making progress. Now we're gonna make some of the ornaments. So to do this, we're gonna use basic shapes. So on the left hand side, you got the ellipse tool. So if I right click on the rectangle, you'll see the ellipse. You can also press L for the shortcut. I'm going to hold Alt and Shift to drag a perfect circle. And I'm just going to change the color so you can see. I'll make it a nice red so it goes in the tree. Then what I'll do is I'll press L again for the ellipse tool and I'll drag another circle here just to have like a minor detail. And I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay or color dodge as well. Or you can even go screen. That looks fine as well. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select the bottom circle, the main circle there. I'll press the FX button. So here's my appearance panel. I select the bottom circle, press FX, go to stylize and click drop shadow. What I'm going to do is click preview so I can see what's happening. And you wanna make sure the color is green because the shadow is gonna be on top of the, the tree, which is green. So you get a nicer shadow, it's more rich. I'll put it on multiply. 30% and you can just copy these statistics here. So you've got the X offset is one, two. The blur can be one, but you can see it goes pixelated or just leave it on zero, which is probably preferable. So just copy those settings and press okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write, uh, hold Alt and Shift, select this. Make sure it's grouped together. So I'm gonna group this, selecting and press Control G. I'll duplicate it and then I'm going to go to my color. You can see I've got my color guide here. I'm going to click the little hamburger menu here with the three lines. I'll press HSB and I'll just drag across to a nice yellow goldy color, not too green. You can also put your mouse wheel over the degrees there and it should change it. So gold, I'm make it a bit brighter. Cool, that's looking good. I'll do the same thing, make sure it's grouped. Bring it across. I'm gonna make sure this blending mode is something brighter. So I'll put it on color dodge. Make sure this is duplicated. Make sure it's grouped. I don't know why it's not copying. Okay, there we go. And I bring my color, I will select this shape here. And then I'll find a nice winter blue color. Like this. And then make sure this color is the blue here. Do color dodge. And make sure I select the same yellow color here and do color dodge. And you'll get three circles there like that. Then what I can do is I can start to hold Alt and Shift and drag the ornaments on the tree. If you feel like they're too small, too big, you can always just adjust it. And then I'm holding Alt and just like clicking and dragging around. 
to like duplicate it and make it random as much as possible and try and not put too many colors close to each other make them mixed up Added the ornaments there. Now that looks super sweet. Gonna duplicate it. Now that's looking great. Now what I'll do now is go to the top of the tree. I'm gonna bring my toolbar back. I'll go to the left and go to the star. Hold shift and you should create a star like this. And then I'm just gonna drag this close to here like that. And then what I'm gonna do is press P for the pen tool. I'll hold shift and just select, make a triangle like that on the tip of the actual thing. And then I'll press control C, control F on this triangle here from the tip that we just made. I'm going to rotate it. So if you put your mouse on the corner, you can rotate. I'm going to drag it up like this and drag this down. So we get this nice effect. So drag this like that. So it looks like it's actually on the tree instead of just like being like this because that doesn't look realistic. So if you do that, it looks like it's an attachment on the top of the tree you put on, which is super neat. Move this around. Cool. So now what I can do, I can press M, make a background, I can make it a you know light green. I can select everything here, press Control G or Command G to group it up. I'll hold Alt and just duplicate it. I'm gonna bring it to the front. And here we have our awesome Christmas tree. I'll show you a cool trick to make a shadow. I'll select this whole group. I'll press Control C and Control F to paste it in front. Then what I'll do, I'll go to the Pathfinder window and I'm gonna click the first one, which is the shape mode Unite. This pluses all the shapes together to make one shape. So what I'll do now is I'm going to make this green color. I'm gonna to go to the top and scale it all the way down like this till it's like squished. Then I'm gonna to go to the sheet tool. So if you go to the left, you can see scale. If I right click on this little two squares with an arrow, it will say scale, but I wanna to go to the sheet tool. I'll go to the tip top of that tree shadow we just made and I'll hold shift and drag it to the, click and drag to the right. I'll then hold shift and drag it to the right like this. I'll select the tree. I'll go object, arrange, bring to the front, which should make the shadow come forward. I'm gonna drag it out like this. But you can see, I don't like this shape on the bottom there. So what I'll do is I'll come here and delete those two anchor points. And I'll come and move this over here because we wanna make it look a bit realistic like that. And then what I can do is put it on multiply, put it on like 40%. And I can also, you know, scale it up a little bit. I'm not, I'm not holding shift, just scaling a bit. Just like that, or I can... And you've got this cool tree shadow that makes it look like, you know, the sun's hitting it from here. And it looks realistic. You know, you can change the, the color as well. Maybe you want to go for a more winter type of vibe. And we can, you know, go for a nice little blue there. And you can have like a winter thing. I can also add like a ground. And I'm just playing around now, but you get the point. You can make it look cool. So yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope I hope this was helpful and insightful on how to create a cool Christmas tree. And yeah, let me know in the comments below if you want to see more tutorials like this. Hit like and hit subscribe because it supports the channel. And I look forward to creating more tutorials in the future. So I'll catch you guys later and see you in the next one.